going to show you how to fill the individual Sunlam Money Market Fund application form. I consider Sunlam Money Market Fund to be one of the best money market funds in Kenya for various reasons. Number one, they have the lowest management fees at 1.2%. Other money market funds in Kenya charge management fees of between 2 and 2.2 percent and then the sandla money market fund also has excellent customer service which makes it um, my money market fund of choice and now let's get into the filling this um, individual application form so on the first page you'll be asked to select a product you should select pesa plus because pata plus is their fixed income fund and chama plus is their balanced fund so for the money market fund you're supposed to click pesa plus because pesa plus is the name of sunlam's money market fund and then you're supposed to click new client but if you're already an existing client or an existing investor with sunlam you'll go ahead and capture your account number and then you're supposed to capture the date let's say for example um the first of may 2023 if that's the date that you're applying for the money market fund account next you're supposed to capture your investor details so all these details that are specific to you your title surname other names uh, date of birth gender your id or passport um, the nationality country of residence so country of residence is important because anyone including people or kenyans living in the diaspora can apply for a sandla money market fund um wherever they live so it doesn't you don't have to be in kenya in order for you to set up this account and then you have to you must capture your kra pin number uh, because money market funds usually charge a withholding tax of 15 percent uh, from your earnings so you have to capture your uh, kra pin because it will be the 15 percent tax will be deducted from your earnings then you have to capture a must you have to capture your mobile number and your email address address then your marital status your postal address is the must uh, yes your postal address code and town is a must and then let's come to the employment status if you tick that you're employed you have to fill all your employer details the only one that is not a hundred percent mandatory is their telephone number but otherwise you have to fill all other these other details if you tick that you're self-employed it you also need to fill your details you know the details of your company what do you do or where are you getting these source of funds because uh, sandlam has to make Make sure that they are opening accounts for genuine people and they have genuine funds if you tick that you're unemployed that means that you don't have to fill all these other details and again if you tick that you're retired yes you can open a money market fund account even when you're retired uh, you don't have to fill all these other details next we go to the source of funds again i've said that sandlam has to make sure they're opening accounts for genuine people uh, who have genuine funds because that is this is one of the requirement because uh, because of the laws um on money laundering now there are different ways of course people make money so maybe the amount of money you want to invest in sandlam is uh, from your salary um sale of shares property sale anything and if um the, your source of funds is not captured here you can come here and specify type specify for example i get questions from university students or students in general uh, on whether they can open a sandla money market fund account and what to capture in terms of their source of funds so it's okay if you're a student for you to capture that this is money that you get from your parents which is pocket money so just be specific and then we go to um, your customer bank details uh, here you're meant to capture your bank details let's say your account name so this customer bank details part it's a must that you capture them this is a must why when you withdraw money from your sandla money market fund when you draw your investment your this amount of money is going to be sent to your bank account that is why you must capture your bank details so you fill your account name your account number the branch of your uh, your bank name and the your bank branch and then here uh, you have to signature of applicant you have to sign so here i've put um, i'm using adobe um to, for this presentation so i have saved my signature in adobe uh, so all i did is is click here sign yourself and i signed this document so depending on the application form application that you'll be using to fill this document you should ideally either have saved your signature uh in that application or if you have an you can take a photo of your signature using your phone and then upload it uh put it in your computer or if you're using your phone to fill this application it's, it's okay you can click this 
this image bit and then upload yeah browse and then upload a photo of your signature either works um number the other part is investment details so you're supposed to indicate the amount of money you're supposed you want to invest in the sandler money market fund or the initial investment the word is the initial investment so um but you have to note that the minimum investment that you can invest in this sandler money market fund is 2500 and it's captured here minimum investment amount is 2500 for each of the sandler unit trust funds and then you just capture that amount in word so this this amount can be a minimum of 2500 you can go as high as the millions that you have it's okay and then there's a bit about payment methods um also it's important to read here unit holders shall be granted one free withdrawal a month to to the designated bank account so sanlam is nice you have one um free withdrawal but it's important to note that any additional withdrawal will be subject to a frequency charge of 500 shillings then there is their payment method so um how will you send this initial investment will you do a check deposit will you do direct cash deposit will you do a direct transfer m pesa whichever one that will work for you so you can tick m pesa direct transfer whichever will work for you tick it and then this part about reinvest so i advise you to tick yes this is so that you can earn compounding interest right and compounding interest is where there's the 2500 you've invested it will earn interest the first month so first of all the sandla money market fund earns you interest every day but that uh, interest is will be reflected uh in your account at the end of every month and then they compound uh, that interest every month so it's important to uh, pick reinvest then these are sandlam's bank details bank account details they provide these bank account details so that uh you can send them your initial investment or you can send you can use uh these bank details to do your initial um investment initial deposit to them you can either use their bank account details as captured on the screen here or you can also use mpesa you can use mpesa to do your initial deposit how do you do your initial deposit through mpesa this is their mpesa pay bill 888 one 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 and then for the account number you use your id number yes you use your id number and then um there is the other part which is the statement and other correspondence so how do you want them to be sending you statements everyone every month so every month every end of the month they will be sending you a statement uh ab on your bank about your bank you about your sandler money market fund account so you can either choose to be receiving this via your email for free so if that is what you want to take free or if you want to be receiving that um that statement through the post office you you tick this but it's important to note that you will be charged 50 shillings for this service so it's better to just tick free yeah because it, it, your the statements are readable enough in your uh in your email then this is the other part that most people always forget to capture the beneficiaries they either forget to capture or they don't capture correctly so here what you're being asked by sanlam is if anything happened to you for example if you passed on where are they meant to take this money or who are they meant to give this money in case you'll have money uh, in your bank account when you pass on that means you're supposed to they have given you a space to capture three beneficiaries and these are the people who will get your money in case anything happens to you so you have to capture their name their date of birth their postal address all this information but the most important part here is the percentage share so your sanlam is asking you how much of the amount of money that you'll have invested should we give to these people so for example if the first beneficiary was your mother and you indicated that you want them to give uh, to give them 50 percent then the second beneficiary is your brother it's 10 percent and if you leave it at if you leave it at that 50 plus 10 is only 60 percent of your share so sanlam will always want to know then where do we take the other 40 percent of your money so you'd need to for example to add another person who will get maybe your daughter or maybe your child who will get the other 40 percent it's also important to know. so basically what i'm saying this beneficiary percentage always has to add up to a hundred percent and so it's okay also 
to have just one beneficiary that you give a hundred percent of your money or have two beneficiaries that you give 50 50 basically the point is it always has to add up to a hundred percent and then if the beneficiary here is a minor if the person you're giving for example is your child who is below the age of 18 years then in that case you have to add a guardian yes you have to add a guardian so for minors for minor beneficiaries below the age of 18 so if that person is below the age of 18 you have to indicate who is the custodian of that money who's supposed to get who's supposed to be given that money uh, to keep for them so maybe it's their mom it's their dad it's their uncle it's their auntie any so you have to if the person is a minor you have to fill the guardian name a must and then there is their page that has the general details where you are asked have you previously invested in sunlam uni trust yes or no so you have to fill the general details all of them and then here you when you asked uh, how did you hear about sunlam uni trust uh, for example you can say word of mouth or internet and you can also always write uh, that you had it from agatha banjiro because i i am maybe you had it first about the sunlam and market fund from me i would be happy to have a shout out and then this is about the your tax status there's a page about your stack tax status so i said you have to be registered with the kenya revenue authority in order for you to open a money market fund account it doesn't matter whether it's sunlam or any other account you have to have a kra pin so are you registered for tax in kenya you have to indicate yes if you live abroad and are you registered if you live in if you are kind of living in diaspora and then you asked are you registered for tax in any other country if you feel yes then you have to come here and indicate which country let's say the u.s and then tax identification number you have to capture that but yeah you have to capture that so yes and you have to capture that and if it's in kenya you write country of residence you write kenya and then uh, kenya and then you indicate your kra pin and then the other part is residential address this is also another part where people always forget to feel people always forget to feel you have to capture your residential address uh, you have to capture your residential address and then the first part is land registration so this part is optional so if you don't have land or you don't want to show to to fill your land registration it's okay you can write not applicable or you can leave it blank but you have to fill these other bits about your estate where do you live your house number your town the town or area where you live and then you have to fill the road as you can see here it's written i write to confirm that the above is a description of my current residential address this description is provided as i do not have any utility bill that may be used to verify my current residential address if you don't want to fill this part which is the easier thing to do you can also provide a utility bill such as a water bill um, a water bill or i'm a, a a what an electricity bill or a phone bill to show your current address the point here is you have to fill you have to show your residential address it's re required by sunlam and by extension by law and then there's a risk assessment form that you're supposed to fill here what is your age bracket so you're supposed to fill all this but these are very very simple questions very very simple and very self-explanatory as you can see what is your age bracket how long do you want to invest how long how long do you want to invest above three years zero to one years have you ever invested in any of the other investment options below maybe you already have a fixed deposit maybe you have a land or a house it's okay to also tick none of the above what type of savings or investments do you currently hold if you already invest in bonds or shares if, if it's none of the above just tick none of the above yeah so you have you always have to tick one of the of the um, of the options given what do you expect of your income in the next two to in the next one to three years increase stay the same decline basically as i said these are very very simple and self-explanatory questions and in case you have one of the questions is not clear just leave me a comment in the comment sections and i'll answer so after you have filled all those uh, very simple questions you come here to them ideally yeah you're supposed to yeah after you filled the all those questions then you come here and kindly add all your scores and divide by 11 so basically they're asking you to fill these questions and then do the score um you kindly add all your scores and divide by 11 in order for you to 
to see to give you your risk profile because as you can see here remember in the first page we saw that they have three kinds of funds the sunlam money market fund the sunlam money market fund the sunlam dividend plus fund uh, also called the pata plus ama the sunlam balance fund also called the chama plus and so the sunlam money market fund is a very low risk investment the pata plus is a low to medium risk investment and the balance fund is a medium uh, in risk investment so they just want to see where your risk rating is in order for them to know that you're picking the right thing but ideally for sunlam money market fund is as you can see it's a very low risk investment and they've written for you here the fund objectives are above inflation level of current income is very low risk ideal for preserving your capital and liquidity while earning a competitive return relative to uh, comparative products so yes ideally everyone should be able to invest in a money market fund because it's a very low risk investment yes so after that um you're supposed to say that i understand my risk level and i have chosen to invest in the following funds of course because this um this uh, video is about the money market fund account you're supposed to pick the pesa plus which is a, which i said is the name of the sanla money market fund account and then you have to indicate on this page how much money you want to invest as i said the minimum is 2500 you can make it wh whichever amount of money you want 30000 50000 1 million it's up to you but minimum is 2500 that's let's go to page 6 then on page 6 there is declaration and signatures um so you have to read this uh, page it's yeah you have to read this page in order for you to it's like these are the like terms and conditions of this um of this unlam money market fund account make sure you read um make sure you read um in order for you to sign up to something you already already you want to sign up to so that they know you are not forced to and then after you do that you have to say i understand and confirm that i have read and understood this declaration and its implications and by the way in case you read anything here and you realize that you have questions about it you can leave the question in the comment section and i will help you answer the question again you have to sign here either you have either you can upload an image of your signature or if you're using adobe or any other application form any other application and you have saved your signature just uh, uh, click your signature so as you can see i have two formats of my signature my normal signature and initials aw so pick uh, so you're supposed to have your signature and sign there and then you of course you have to indicate your names in full and then the date you're filling this form after that that is page six after that um the other after that you'll be done after you're done let's talk about page seven of the sanlam money market fund application form so here Mm, you're required to attach several documents in order for you to have your account set up several know your customer documents that is a copy of your national id or passport if you're using your id you have to provide both pages a uh, passport size photo either one that a clear one it can either be an official passport size photo that was taken in a studio or you can take a clear selfie that also works a very clear selfie also works then you have to attach a copy of your kra pin certificate and of course if you are exempted from tax you can uh, attach your copy of a tax exemption certificate which also means that all the other parts that i was talking about your kra pin don't apply to you and then um, you also have to attach your proof of banking details in either as a certified copy uh, either a certified copy of your atm card that means this basically means a photo of your atm card so take your phone and take a photo of your atm card the front page never provide the back page of your atm card because that provides very sensitive information that can be used to um, withdraw money um, from your card or from your bank account you can also provide a copy of your bank statement um yeah a copy of your bank statement one page is enough a copy of your bank statement or a cancelled check either so you don't provide the three of them just one either an atm card a photo of your atm card a copy of your bank statement or an original cancel check lastly you have to provide proof of investment as i said you have to invest for your sunla money market fund account to be set up you have to invest a minimum of 2500 so ideally what you're meant to do is um 
invest 2500 either by doing a bank transfer using the bank account i provided or through mpesa pay bill 888111 and account is your account number and you invest the 2500 and then you send the proof of uh, investment that's what they mean and then this page also has uh, this bit where it says that i hereby confirm that all the above documents so applicable have been attached so this is a page where either a lawyer or an, an official sanam agent certifies that the documents you have provided are um, right and you filled the application form properly and provided the right information so for example i am a sanam i am a certified very important i'm a certified sanlam agent and that is why i have a code so this code 02611 is a code that certifies that i am a certified um, agent this means that i am in a position to certify all those documents that you're providing that is your id your kra pin uh, your bank statement, you, the, this application form, I am in a position to do that. So that is why I have um, signed for you. That is financial advisor name, my name. I've put in my code, I've put in my signature, and I've also uh, put the date. Um, I'll always put in the date for you. This gives me the authority to open, to help you set up this money market fund account for free. Yes. So by the time I send you this application form, I'll have already signed this page for you. This other part is left. Um, you don't fill it. It is left to be filled by the Sanlam administrator or Sanlam, yeah, the Sanlam office or, yeah, or the Sanlam administrators are the ones that fill this part. There. So they uh, sign signature and they write the date and then they go ahead and set for up your sanlam money market fund account for you so that's it if you have any questions about this process how to fill this application form or any question about the sanlam money market fund account please leave it in there uh please leave the comments in there um in the comment section and if you'd like me to help you set up your money market fund account your sanla money market fund account just send me an email my email is at agatha at the wealth tribe.com simply send me an email and tell me help me set up a sanla money market fund account i'll immediately send you this application form and the instructions again on how to fill it and then i'll help you set up the money market fund account please share this video with your friends family click the subscribe button and the like button in order for youtube to distribute it to more people thank you